So what happens is when we set up a constellation and uh, a complete shift is possible that a person really stands in life from a different stance. Like if they have had this tremendous sadness, they carried the sadness all their life. Already as a child they were sad. And we set up a constellation and the reason why the sadness is there, maybe they lost their mother when the, when the child was six, six weeks old, the mother died. And, and there's this longing for mother it had always been there, but eventually as this child grew up, that longing was never really acknowledged. And, but yet underneath it was always there. So when we set it up, a constellation, she actually is able to connect with the mother, grieve the loss, the early loss, take the love that she has found now by actually hugging a woman that's representing her mother and getting this that, that visceral body feeling of this love that she never actually had because she didn't have a mom. And so from that moment on, this woman can't stand in life no longer having this sadness. Gone. This whole persona of always feeling sad and longing is now gone. And very often that person can actually hold on to that experience of no longer having this grief because now they actually have the mother. That, that switch has been flipped. But very often, the programming that I was explaining earlier is that I am a sad person. And a sad person does certain things all the time because it's now a habit in the body. Even though the reason for the sadness is no longer necessary because the, 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 the wound has been healed, the body has a memory of being a sad person. So the perception of filter may still, you know, maybe within an hour or maybe within a week, creep slowly back in and the person kind of goes back to that same state. So, and that is something that, uh, you know, working here together with Michael has been so helpful because he sees, I basically just work with his clients, so he sees the clients on a regular basis and then gives me feedback. And sometimes the movement has held, nothing else was needed, and sometimes after three months the, the old persona came back. And sometimes, you know, the person couldn't hold it at all. Actually, it didn't take the whole healing movement. They, nothing changed at all. So we had many discussions about this phenomenon because it's also something that is a, is a controversy with Gert Hellinger's work and other facilitators. They work, the constellation reveals a wonderful healing movement, but then people actually in life don't really hold it. Why? So my sense was, uh, now I didn't know that back then either, but now it's like, it's just in the body, the programming of the sad person has now to be released with a conscious effort. And I devised this 10 minutes, three times a day exercise where a person remembers what did it feel like to have the mother hold me? What did it feel like to you know, be a tiny child and have my head on my mom and have nothing to do but soak up this love for 10 minutes? Make the body remember this new way of being so that is then a habit. Yeah, so we slowly pull out through conscious effort that sad memory and replace it with a alive, filled, safe, loving memory. And that then becomes the habit. And once it's in the body as a habit, it's there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's we're kind of replacing the old program to a new program, to a positive one. It, it really is so entrenched, though. That's what I'm finding. It's mm -hmm. like, holy cow. Mm -hmm. It's really entrenched. Mm -hmm. And, and um, it's... Um, so the very <coughs> basic, you know, instinctual survival programs will take real effort. Real effort. And it's also how we have lived our, you know, for generations, for thousands of years, we have believed that we are these bodies and, you know, however we think and feel is who we are and there's no way to not live that way. 
So yeah, it's going to take some time to really release the very basic survival structures. So in this new way of knowing, because that's what you're trying to get yes. to, you want to live kind of the same, my prayer is your prayer too, right? You want to live in your life from the deeper knowing, your own voice and not the head's voice that keeps continuously that negating. That's really... Yes. Funny. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Yeah. 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 So, and, and those kinds of shifts, the kind of the truly fundamental shifts of doing life in a different way, they will take time. Yeah. But good, I'm glad it's happening. Mm -hmm. it is, yeah, that's good for me. Good.